it's becoming more and more evident to me that if Patrick Mahomes needs to score, either it be a field goal or a touchdown with a minute left, there is no other quarterback in NFL history that I have more faith in at this point than Patrick Mahomes. I would even put him ahead of Brady at this point. Yeah, I would too, just because of the rushing ability. And I never really doubted the Chiefs were going to win this game because I, as soon as I saw the Chargers score, I was like, oh, that's way too much time with the Chiefs. I get some people want to rip the Chargers. So they're like, hey, why would you score a touchdown? First of all, scoring a touchdown is hard. And if you mess around and you try and burn some clock, there's no guarantee that you're actually going to score the touchdown. So if you can score a touchdown, I have no problem with the team taking the score and moving on. Right. For the Chiefs, I saw Patrick Mahomes make that one run um, on the final drive. And I just saw this look in his eyes. I'm like, oh, yeah, no, Patrick Mahomes is going to lead the team down to score a touchdown. Travis Kelsey goes for 116 and three touchdowns in this game. Going up against Derwin James, they battled. Travis Kelsey definitely got the best of him. Uh, for the Chiefs, though, Pacheco is one of those guys where it's like they now have a guy where Mahomes can just hand the ball off and get a free 14 yards. And for a quarterback as good as him, that's huge for your team because, well, Pacheco may not be – like what Todd Gurley was or Derrick Henry. He's someone who runs hard and violently. Someone those runs, I'm like, oh, this guy runs hard. He's pushing through the tackle. So if you fall asleep on one play and Mahomes just hands the ball to him, he can rip it for 20. And that adds a whole new dynamic to their offense. And then when Patrick Mahomes and Travis Kelsey set their mind to something, there's nothing they can't do. There's no one can who can stop them. And it's like, I get it. The Chargers in this game played them tough, but at the same time, I was never worried about the Chiefs in this game. Um, I I can't say I wasn't worried, but I will say that it never really felt like the Chargers had control in the game. Yeah. Because Justin Herbert, he had an overall good game, and, you know, their defense played fine. Um, but that being said, when they score with a minute left, I'm like, we all know it's about to happen because yeah. it's it's more consistent than anybody else. Plus, fun fact about Patrick Mahomes, 25 consecutive wins in November and December. 25. That's insane. And that's the money month. Yeah, exactly. So I knew that he was going to march down to score. And then it came time for Herbert. And Herbert had his chance. And I'm not going to really – a lot of people are knocking him or I guess the media hasn't really been – yeah. But overall, there's been some criticism about you know him turning it over in key moments. I don't know if I'm ready to say that he's like that quite yet. I think that interception that he had bounced off the receiver's hands into the corner's hands. So that, whatever. But Patty Mahomes, he has the ball. He's going to score. Yeah. And as much as I'd like to say I told you so about the Chargers, um, they still out Mike Williams in this game. Um, Keenan Allen's on a pitch count in this game. So it's like he's not his weapons aren't at full strength. And I do believe they could have won this game if they had their weapons. And so it's like with Herbert, it's like give him more time. He's still coming up, but he's not Patrick Mahomes at this point. So no. I think he you could argue that he's a top five quarterback in the NFL. Um, I can't put him over Burrow and Josh Allen just yet. But he's definitely in the mix, maybe just a slight tier below those guys. But he definitely has the arm talent to do it. Um, you just got to get an offensive coach in this, in there and then scrub whatever weird stuff that went on with Brandon Staley. 